So let's talk about a few question of CSI net syllabus as a in, 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 in the topic of glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain. So first question. Question number one: What is the effect of sudden increase in the level of ATP and citrate on erythrocyte undergoing glycolysis? We know that uh, basically glycolysis occurs due to the low concentration of ATP. When as ATP to ADP ratio is low, that glycolysis or Krebs cycle and electron transport chain occurs. If an NADH by NAD ratio is low then only the glycolysis is, uh, takes place so actually the uh, atp and uh, atp and citrates acts as an inhibitors of glycolysis so answer will be option one is the correct answer for this question question number two rotenone is an inhibitors of electron transport chain uh, the addition of rotenone to the cells result in which of the following a rotenone actually a plant product which inhibits the complex one of the electron transport chain we know in the electron transport chain have four complex complex one is known as NADH dehydrogenase complex complex two known as succinate dehydrogenase complex complex three is known as cytochrome B C one complex and complex four is cytochrome A A three complex now in case of here, the rotenone actually inhibit at the complex one, and, and due to the inhibition of complex one, NADH the electron uh, no, is not uh, transported to the terminal oxygen. We you know that in, in during aerobic respiration, the terminal electron acceptor is oxygen. Now in here, as it is there is a blocker uh, uh, for co in complex one, so we electron uh, no, o o oxygen. In the terminal electron acceptor, oxygen is not con is not accepted the electron terminal electron. So that's why free radical is generated or reactive oxygen species are generated, but ATP synthesis is blocked. So answer will be the generation of mitochondrial reactive oxygen species and block of ATP generation. So option one is the correct answer. Now question number. Um, uh, three, the energy-rich fuel molecule produced in TCA cycle. In during TCA cycle, we know that at, uh, one GTP molecule is produced and three NADH molecule and one FADH to produce. In during <coughs> GTP produced in succinyl CoA to succinate conversion succinyl coa to succinate conversion nadh producing steps are three nadh producing steps are there isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate first one isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate second alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl coa and third malate to oxaloacetate conversion these three steps nadh will produce will be produced and FADH to produce in malate to uh, oxaloacetate it, uh, uh, FADH to sorry FADH to will produce in the succinate to fumarate conversion right so answer will be one GTP three NADH and one FADH two but with, this is only for one on a citric acid cycle but if it is a from one molecule of glucose the two it will be double uh, because one molecule of glucose produce two molecule of pyruvate two molecule of pyruvate produce two molecule of acetyl CoA and two molecule of acetyl CoA will enter into the citric acid cycle right so answer will be here option two is the correct answer Option 3, sorry. Option 3 is the correct answer. 1 GTP, 3 NADH, 1 FADH2. Now, question number 4. The given below a statement that may or may not be correct. Okay. Fructose 2,6-bisphosphate is an allosteric inhibitor of phosphofructokinase. Actually, no. Fructose 2,6-bisphosphate acts as an activator of phosphofructokinase 1. And the Option B, the TCA cycle intermediate, succinate and oxaloacetate can both be derived from amino acid. Yes, there is a anaphylerotic reactions are there, there where the intermediate of the TCA cycle can, can be replenished. So, the B is the correct option. B here is the correct. C, 
C is not correct. So D is the DTTP for DNA synthesis can be obtained from UTP. Yes, this is correct because the synthesis, you can see the synthesis of DTTP or the uh, deoxythymidine triphosphate proceeds via the in Intermediate formation of DMUMPs. Thyme dilate synthase, synthase, synthase catalyzes the synthesis of DTMP from DUMP, which may be generated through the phosphoryl, phosphoryl, phosphorolysis uh, of DUTP uh, formed from UTP. So, these are correct. D is the correct, and E, E also is correct so answer will be option b is the correct answer so question number five the following are statement about pyruvate kinase we know that last step in the uh, glycolysis uh, is convert phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate where one molecule of atp also generated an enzyme is the pyruvate kinase and the pyruvate kinase is actually atp is an allosteric inhibitors of pyruvate kinase yes atp acts as an allosteric inhibitors of pyruvate kinase uh, inhibitor of acetyl inhibitors of pyruvate kinase are acetyl CoA. You can see that acetyl CoA, ATP, and alanine acts as an inhibitors and activators of pyruvate kinase are fructose 1 6 bisphosphate and AMP. Fructose 1 6 bisphosphate. It uh, uh, fructose because fructose one six bisphosphate we know that from the glycolysis first step glucose is converted to glucose six phosphate glucose six phosphate then converted to fructose six phosphate fructose six phosphate converted into fructose one six bisphosphate fructose one six bisphosphate acts as an activator of pyruvate kinase as a so fructose one six bisphosphate and AMP are the activator of pyruvate kinase so. Here you have to choose the choose the correct true statement. So A is allosteric inhibitor of pyruvate kinase. A is correct. B is also correct. And ADP is an allosteric inhibitor of pyruvate kinase. No, ADP acts as an allosteric activator of pyruvate kinase. So C is wrong. Alanine is an allosteric modulator of pyruvate kinase. Yes. So okay, option D, uh, option C is the correct. Uh, option 2 that is option 2 is the correct and uh, answer so 2 is the correct answer next question so which of the following enzyme is not a part of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex in glycolysis pathway during pyruvate dehydrogenase complex uh, pyruvate um, dehydrogenase complex is required during the pyru conversion of pyruvate to acetyl CoA Pyruvate to acetyl CoA, this step actually uh, the enzyme is, is uh, required is that pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Pyruvate dehydrogenase complex basically consists of three enzymes. Uh, it's a like it's a complex enzyme, the pyruvate dehydrogenase, dihydrolipoyl transacetylase, dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase. And these three enzymes are there. Pyruvate dehydrogenase cofactor is thiamine pyrophosphate. Dihydrolipoyl transacetylase cofactor is lipoic acid. Dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase cofactor is NAD plus and FAD. So here is dihydrolipoyl oxidase is not the part of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Right? So answer is option D. Uh, 4 is the correct answer. Right? Now, Question number seven. The glycolysis and citric acid cycles are important pathway to generate energy in the given uh, in the cell. Given below a statement regarding the production of ATP. Now you we know, know that during glycolysis and citric acid cycle, there is a important uh, conversion of glucose. One molecule of glucose. It's you can see that in it's uh, from one molecule of glucose. One molecule of glucose is, uh, during glycolysis. Uh, you know, first, in in glycolysis, there is two molecule of NADH produced, and in in case of intermediate step, that is pyruvate to acetyl CoA conversion. This step is 
2 NADH produce and during citric acid cycle in one from one molecule of glucose 3 NADH produce and another molecule of glucose another 3 molecule of NADH produce so total 6 NADH produced in the citric acid cycle from one molecule of glucose and so total NADH is 10 NADH produced during um, uh, citric, acid, citric acid cycle and glycolysis is total 10 NADH produced and 2 molecule of FADH to produce per molecule of glucose, right? So, and option, you can see that option C, the coenzymes produced are, the coenzymes produced are oxidized by electron transfer chain and coenzymes like NADH and FADH2, yes, they are used oxidized by the electron transport chain and so combination so a is the correct and c is the correct so option four is the correct answer so next question now in, in indicate the names of the following molecules i'll say the here you have given four structure of the molecules now you have to identify the structure uh, which compound it is? It's all uh, belongs to compound of citric acid cycle, and we know that the uh, only say in citric acid cycle only five carbon. These are five carbon you know, compound. This five carbon compound only one five carbon compound is present. That is alpha ketoglutarate, and other than the alpha ketoglutarate, it, uh, there is a um, other than alpha ketoglutarate. That second third uh, in the D, you can see that these are oxaloacetate these are four carbon oxaloacetate and first one is citrate so a is the citrate and b is the isocitrate it is so option two is the correct answer now question number nine the first step in glycogen breakdown release glucose unit as during glycogen breakdown actually glycogen is con uh, converted into glucose one phosphate so option 2 is the correct answer glucose 1 phosphate now next question in arsenate is so 4 3 minus is chemically very similar to po4 3 minus could be used as an alternative substrate by phosphate requiring enzymes when 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate to 3 phosphoglycerate the phosphoglycerate kinase the enzyme is required and during that there is a substrate level phosphorylation we know that substrate level during substrate level phosphorylation substrate act donate the phosphate at, and here so the phos mimicking in the phosphate mimicking is the arsenate arsenate mimic the phosphate and instead of phosphate it uh, the uh, how, uh, however ATP is not formed when one arseno 3 phosphoglycerate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate and the reason could be the the is here you can see that arsenic prevents substrate level phosphorylation after glycolysis no ATP will be produced only heat will be generated 3 phosphoglycerate is formed non enzymatically due to rapid hydrolysis of the bond between the arsenate and carboxylic group so option 2 is the correct answer so thank you